What's up, everybody? Jason here from Jaspies eBay, presented by JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We're doing our first break of the day. This is 2019 Gold Rush Autograph Football Mini Helmets Series 2, 12 box case break, number two on eBay. I usually have a sheet, but for this right here, we sold them by players, not by team. So there's like over 150 players or 130 players we sold. And here are here's the case for the mini helmets, just to show you. There you go, right there, autograph mini helmets. You get 12 per case. So I have my camera right here to the side just so you can see me open up the case. And just a little FYI guys, remember it's random players so no matter what team is on the mini helmet, it's going to go to the customer that has the player. And of course, you have the same eBay invoices that I have in my background. So whoever, whoever has of course Paint Manning spot is going to get the Paint Manning, whoever has the... You know, Kyler Murray spots gonna get the Kyler Murray if it pops out of the break. Of course, there's over 130 names, but only 12 mini helmets. So this is a very big hit or miss type of break. It's a very fun break because a lot of teams or a lot of teams did sell for a couple bucks each. But again, it's a very exciting break, and I think a lot of people kind of enjoyed it yesterday. So have another one scheduled today. And there you go. Here's the 12 boxes. This side, put these on here. All right. And I can turn this this way now. All right. Let's put this one up here. Right up there to the top. Let's go with the first one. So good luck. Yes, Jim, this is number two. What's up, Jeff? Manning or McCaffrey tonight? All right. All righty, all right. Good luck. First one is an old school Patriot. But who is this Patriots mini helmet of? It is. You guys recognize that? There's the back at COA. And it's Jim Plunkett. I realize he played for the Patriots as well. There you go, Jim Plunkett. All right, who has Jim Plunkett? Jim Plunkett for number two is James Hare. There you go. Alright, next one. Alright, next one we got. Ooh, the all black Texas AM mini helmet of. Oh, is that who I think it is? It's a nice mini helmet regardless, but is that who I think it is? Yes, Johnny Football, Johnny Manziel. Nice, autograph mini helmet. Um, no, I wouldn't consider these one one James. Someone else asked me that earlier. Was that you, James? And uh, I had, like, I replied. I don't think these are one-on-ones. I mean, I think there's multiple mini helmets of 
every player in the product run. It's just that obviously I can't specifically tell you how many Johnny Manziel's there are, you know, how many of these there are. But I, I really don't think so. Donnie. Well, I mean, at one point, Johnny, I mean, college was Johnny Manziel's still a legend, so. I'd rather have his mini, I'd rather have, a, if I'm going to have a Johnny Manziel mini helmet autograph, it's going to be Texas A&M. Because a lot of people still love him in Texas A&M, so. Regardless, he's always going to be a legend there. So Donnie, Johnny Manziel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's true. You could, you could think of him any way you want course NFL wise but still Heisman Trophy winner I think still what is he the first freshman Heisman Trophy winner right even though he was a red shirt I mean yeah you could, I mean obviously everybody has their own opinion on what he did after then after college but regardless yeah he's still one of the best college football players Washington Redskins mini helmet of oh I think this is is this Josh Doxon I think it's Josh Doxon horrible I don't I mean I, I hate when people kind of just put the J O and whatever it is but yes Josh Doxon Josh Doxon that's Anthony Moore. Alrighty, next one. David Luna, what's going on, man? Uh, so far, we've only done three, and I believe they have been uh, Jim Plunkett, Johnny Manziel, and Josh Doxson. So have plenty more to go. Next one. University of Houston. I've only known so many players to play here, so let's see who it is. Who, Johnny Manziel? I'm sure he made a lot of money. <laughs> I know he was making a lot of money doing a lot of things. Ooh. Look at that inscription. 1989 Heisman. Let me actually kind of fix the focus of this really quick, guys. I know it looks good from far away, but I want to kind of show the autograph a little bit better. And sometimes it's a, Whoa, that's not what I want. I want the focus to be better. Look at that. 89 has a trophy winner. Yes, you're right. Andre Ware. Ah, did you really? Andre Ware. Autograph in the helmet. Andre Ware. That's Paul. Paul P.
All righty. Next one. Dallas Cowboy of anybody recognize that right away? Kind of tough to see, but there it is right there. Wow, twenty door set. Nice. Tony Dorsett, who has Tony Dorsett? That is Jeff P. guys next one oh is that you blue sock we got I think it was a Pittsburgh Steelers helmet I believe Ooh, gold ink too as well Is that inscribed H2O? No, that's somebody else's. That's somebody's name. Anybody know this before I flip it over? Oh, it's TJ. Oh, that's right. That's TJ Watt. That makes sense with the T and the Y, the W. There you go, TJ Watt. That doesn't look like you can describe H2O though, right? <laughs> All right, TJ Watt. Rodrigo, TJ Watt, number two. Couple more guys, halfway through. Ooh, this is a nice helmet. Old school. What Houston Oilers player is this? Unless it's a Titan player with a retro helmet. Ooh, I, I know who this is. Hall of Fame 91. There's the Beckett COA. Very, very nice. Nice mini helmet as well. Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell is Darren F. There you go, man.
Alrighty, five more. Ooh, we got one of these metallic helmets coming up. And it's another Dallas Cowboy player. These are, these are pretty cool, guys. I think the cool thing about this Gold Rush is they kind of put these chrome helmets. I think they're called Blaze, I believe. Pretty cool helmets. Like, imagine if players worn this, and there's the autograph. I think I know who that is. A very, very nice mini helmet. Blaze altern uh, Alternate. Demarcus Lawrence. That's Jeff again. All right, there you go, Jeff. Another one for you, buddy. Man, we got two Cowboys. How crazy is that? Are you a Cowboys fan, though? That is the question. I know, Jeff. I'm just trying to get you. I mean, I'm trying to get everybody something. I mean, I'm sure there's many of you guys, unfortunately, that have taken a beating in this stuff. But it's really hard, man. Some people, it's just like Blue Sack says, you know, I got, I got the luck tonight. I mean, it's unfortunate when I've been in the same boat, guys. I, I've been into a lot of group breaks throughout my adult life that I can afford myself. I've been hitless many times, and it's not a good feeling. I know that for sure, guys. So, for you guys that are hitless out there, I hope... I can kind of make it up to with these last four mini helmets, but regardless, it's a really tough break to hit in. BYU helmet. All right. Ooh, is this going to be who I think it is? Heisman. Inscription. No, it's okay, Jeff. It's okay, it's okay to, to express it. I mean, it's all good. Sometimes that's what it needs. I have one customer that, like, you know, daily, he's just expressed <laughs> every day, every day, and then all of a sudden, boom, he just hits, right? And that's just, just his way of, like, trying to get a hit. Ty Detmer. Good job, Steven. There you go. Nice. How's that? Sterling, who had... Look at See, that's the crazy thing, guys. I mean, hey, kudos for Sterling. I mean, I don't know if he's a collector of Ty Detmer or he just wanted them. But think about it. This, this guy, this is how crazy it is when it comes to luck. Sterling got one spot in this whole mini helmet and hit one helmet. How crazy is that? You know, I don't mean to put anybody down. But I'm just saying, like, it's just... Such a high risk, but a high reward, right? And it's just, it's crazy.
tight grammar. Sorry about that, guys. Just reading some stuff in the background. Next one. Ooh, this is a nice helmet. It's one of those Blaze helmets for the Giants. He's number 88. I think I know who this is. Evan Ingram. Dave with Evan Ingram. Two boxes left. Did somebody call this? Did somebody call this? Do you work for Gold Rush, Steven? Who called this? <laughs> He's like, how the how the f did he call this? He works. He works. They knew it. What is going on here? Steven's like the guy that produced this case. I mean, I don't think these cases are even hard numbered, but. <laughs> there you go. There you go, man. Alrighty, Steven with that one. Last one, guys. Good luck. <laughs> now everybody's going to start saying that now. It's a UW player. Could be a handful of UW players. Who is this though? Ah, we pulled this guy yesterday actually. I don't remember if we actually pulled him in a UW helmet, but this would be your example that there are duplicates. There aren't just one of Warren Moons out there. But there you go, Warren Moon Hall of Fame 06. So there you go. That's just that's your little FYI with these breaks.
there are more than just one. And I don't remember if it was U Dub or not, but if it is, there you go. Warren Moon. Pretty good case though, guys. You can't deny the names that came out of here though. Warren Moon. That's James. Oh, was it a U Dub as well too? Well there you go. Uh there are multiples of them, so if we do post post them up more, don't think that uh you know there's only one you know Tony Dorset or something. There are opportunities for more. So that's James. There two. All right, and there you go, guys. That was the break. That was Gold Rush Autograph Mini Helmet Series 2. 12-box case break number 2 on eBay. Coming up next is Gold Rush Baseball. Gem Mint. Appreciate it, guys.